Reach the MOP of your HDB flat? What's the best option for upgrading? EM, EC or private property? Hi, I'm Lorraine from ERA and today I'll be discussing with you on your options for upgrading. Step 1. Get loan approval in principle. Approach the bank to get approval in principle for an indicative value of the loan amount you can take, with eligibility based primarily on two factors, TDSR and LTV ratios. Once you get your in-principle approval for your loan, it is typically valid for one month. Step 2. Calculate the estimated sales proceeds from your flat. Sales proceeds is the amount you receive after you have deducted the outstanding home loan, CPF funds you have used for your flat, and the accrued interest. You may use HDB Sales Proceed Calculator for a detailed calculation of your sales proceeds. Step 3. Ascertain the monthly repayment installment for your desired home. There are many mortgage calculator apps available online. Key in loan amount, interest rate and tenure to compute the monthly mortgage payment. Ensure that the monthly repayment installment is within your comfort level. Now that you have an idea of your financials, let us consider the various options available for upgrading. Option 1. Executive Condominium Consider getting an EC if your combined household income is less than $14,000. However, if you are able to wait it out for 10 years, ECs will acquire the privatised status making it no different from a private condo. Option 2. Private Property Consider getting a private property if your combined household income is more than $14,000. Private property is ideal for those who are looking to invest in a second property in the near future. The financial assessment we've done earlier would help ascertain if you have the required down payment necessary to purchase a private property. Option 3. Bigger flat If based on the financial assessment, neither an EC or private property is affordable, you can always opt for a bigger HDB flat. Do take note of the implications of buying an older flat especially if you have plans to sell it in the future. There is typically a sharp fall in value when a flat crosses 64 years of age as bank loan restrictions kick in. This would mean a shrinking pool of buyers for you, making it difficult to sell your flat in the future. The options discussed here are only at a general level. To ensure a smooth transaction, a personalised planning is required. If you are reaching or have reached your MOP, I invite you to a free personalised assessment and discussion on the upgrading options available. Thank you.